Okay, so if this is a successful video, this will be a second channel video. I can go ahead and unplug it from the computer because I don't need to do anything with the computer at the moment. So uh, we are on 4.4 and we are having issues updating. I tried to update, it popped up a notification and it said, hey, do you want to update? And I hit yes and it wouldn't update because it said failed. It kept saying failed. Well, now we have the update and if I try to apply this, it will fail. I downloaded this manually and I tried to flash it manually and it also failed. So we don't have very many options and I'm not going to let that fail. There is a post on XDA from uh, Graphics NY, N NYC, G-R-A-F-F-I-X NYC. It's called 501 Google Play Edition Stock Recovery plus Bootloader plus Firmware. And he gives you a uh, zip that you can download that is stock. You can choose between root and no root. Hold on, let me quiet my dog down. So it says zip and then you just rename it. For me, I needed to rename mine uh, 0P6BIMG. Yeah, and then it's going to hopefully be a zip and it's going to flash. So let's go ahead and get this thing into fast boot mode by holding volume down and power. I haven't done this yet. I am still on KitKat, so it should find the zip that's in there. Uh, it's taking a little bit longer than normal, so I, I think it just found it. Whether it works or not is going to be beyond me. I don't know. But this is a HTC One M8 that we got from the Google Play Store back in, I believe, March. You'll just have to search www.joshdew HTC One M8 Google Play Edition Unboxing, and you'll see. I believe it was March. You know, while this is doing this, let's go ahead and look. What would Josh do? What would Josh do? HTC One M8 Google Play Edition. Type in one hand, it's not very easy. Edition. Uh, yeah. It was... April 3rd, April 3rd I got this phone. So I got it from the Google Play Store. And this is, this isn't one that's been converted. This isn't a carrier one. It's a uh, silver one or whatever color they say it is. And it just has the slick wraps on it. As you can see the little speaker grill there. That's the original color. All right, so we're just waiting on this to fully fill up here. And do you, you want to start the update? Uh, we're gonna go ahead and press volume up for yes. And I don't know if this is gonna work or not. This is, um, I've done this before, but not on this phone. Software status modified. Okay, it should be not a big deal. I don't know what that means. It's loading up there, so maybe we gotta do it again. Or maybe I gotta download the one that's not pre-rooted. Why is that sticky or something there? Is that just coming up? Oh, that's sticky. I don't know. Now we're gonna wait for this. I'm gonna go ahead and pause it here so it's not a super long video. All right, so it came right back here to this screen as soon as you saw that. So now it looks like everything's working fine. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Oh, again, I've done this on the M7, except it didn't have an SD card slot, so you had to have a Y cable powered USB OTG, one end going to a charger, one end going to a flash drive, and yeah. So I, I have done this successfully on the M7, I just haven't done the M8 yet, and I'm so glad they included an SD card on this one. I'm so glad. SD cards just make everything so much easier. So just to get an idea of how long this takes, we'll go ahead and include all this. I uninstalled BusyBox, but while I had root access, I'll go ahead and explain some stuff since it's, you're going to have to either skip through this or watch it all yourself anyway. But I uninstalled BusyBox using the BusyBox app. I uninstalled it, okay? I went to Exposed Framework. I uninstalled Exposed Framework. I uninstalled all the apps that were Exposed Framework needed because you can't even use Exposed Framework with 5.0 at the moment i'm sure they will eventually someday but uh, so i was like okay I, I tried everything i even did a full unroot and super issue i powered the phone down powered it back on no super issue app 
No suit. So every, no root access. So that's um, that's that. I I've done everything possible to fix this on my own, shy of doing this. So oh, and I did back up all of my apps before doing this with Titania Backup, and all those apps are on the external SD card because uh, when you do this, it erases your phone. So. Waiting on something to happen here. I don't know what's going to happen. Update is in progress. But it doesn't look like anything's happening. So we'll see. This is a first time for you and me. Power to reboot. Alright, we're going to see if we have uh, Jelly Bean. Or not Jelly Bean. Oh my what? Gosh. Uh, Lollipop. <clears throat> Should be... Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> my bad. It's my throat. We'll see. We'll see what happens here. This will be interesting. Huh, that's Lollipop. We were just on Kit Kat. This is Lollipop. This is dope. This is awesome. Then we just gotta do fast boot, flash recovery, open twerp, blah, 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 flash the latest 237 Super SU, and we will have root once again. And then once we have root, we can download the uh, 501 stock recovery from the same person that posted this. Uh, uh, it's an RUU that you flash in the bootloader. Or, and then he has just a zip for the, uh, recovery, so. Really cool guy. Definitely give a thanks to Graphics NYC for this awesome thing. So far, it's working. I mean, we were on KitKat. Looks like we're on Lollipop now. <coughs> I don't know. The boot up's probably gonna take a while. And, uh, so all of our apps are backed up to the micro SD card that is right here behind this little like door it looks like a sim card but it's not a sim card right here and uh once you back up your apps to your internal storage you open up like es file explorer you move them to your external you go to titania backup you tell backup folder location you tell it to look in the external sd card and from then on out it reads and writes from the external that way if something like this fully wipes your phone completely you still have all your stuff on your sd card SD card's still there. That's the beautiful thing about a freaking SD card. <laughs> oh, man. This is awesome. So glad this is working. So far. If it doesn't boot up, worst case scenario, we might need to uh, power it off. Which, uh, By the way, if you're ever stuck on this screen permanently for a long time, I've actually let the battery die at twice. It's uh, stuck at the little spinning thing on KitKat, and it never actually fully booted up. But uh, what you do is you hold volume up, and then you hold power, and you hold that for about 10 seconds. So that will force it to turn off, and then you can hold volume down and power to get into recovery, or bootloader, or whatever. But uh, all the times that it, the two times it did it, all I did was hold volume up and power, power it down, turn it back on, and it booted up fine. So I don't know what the heck went on with that, but... Alright. If this is over 10 minutes, it's all because of how long this is taking. So hopefully the person watching this will be like... Mine's not working. It is not working. So let's go ahead and run through the steps one more time while we're doing this. Uh, the 501 Google Play Edition Shock Recovery, the little plus symbol, bootloader, plus firmware. And once I upload this from my phone, from my Note 4 that's recording this video, I will update the description with the link to this. If I forget, just leave a comment, let me know, and I'll update it. But uh, So we downloaded the zip, and then we changed it to 0p6... B is in boy, I M G, and that's a zip file. So make sure it's a zip, and then put that on the micro SD card, not inside a folder, root directory, and it found it the moment we went into bootloader. So that little thing, I think it's going to boot. Maybe I don't know. There we go. There we freaking go. Look at that. Look at that. All right. All right, activating cellular service. Okay. Uh, this is a GSM phone. I don't know why it's trying to activate cellular service. It's a GSM phone. This is for the... Huh. 
That's weird. Uh, Google Play Edition stock recovery plus bootloader plus firmware. Yeah, all this stuff is for the Google Play Edition, so that's really weird why it wants to uh, activate cellular data when it's a GSM phone. Um... Huh. This will convert your HTC One M8 running since into a Google Play Edition uh, complete with updates from Google. Huh. That's the one thing I didn't want to do because I'm not converting this phone. There we go. It looks like it worked right as I hit skip. I got data now. And hopefully, yeah, there we go. We got H. I know we get LTE here. My Nexus 6 picks up LTE here just fine. Please get LTE. Um, there we go. There we go. LTE. Okay, that's good. I'll put in all this when we log in. Alright, checking software updates. We'll skip that. And we'll put in our email address and we'll skip that too. Well, in the video. Alright, so we put in the email address and the password. And... Da, 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 da. I need to turn the brightness down because it is recording badly because of the brightness. Uh, HTC One M8. And next. Backup phones. Sure, sure. No, no. Just a second. Uh, get Google now. Yes, I'm in. Restoring. Okay, this part can take a minute, so let's go ahead and pause here too. All right, and it skipped to this as soon as the restoring screen went away. I haven't touched the phone yet. Google Now Launcher, always. And also, it says it's rooted by default. So we're going to check in here. Let's turn the brightness down. There we go. See, now stuff's easy to read on the video. But about phone, build number, we're good to go there. Android 501, uh, the baseband, and that's about it for that. And then also developer options, let's enable USB debugging, okay. Verify pipes over USB, no. And let's speed up the animation scale to make them faster. And then, um, Super SU, maybe? Yeah, Super SU's there by default. Nice, I did choose the one that was rooted. You can choose one that's not rooted, uh, in case you're curious about that, so. Very, very nice. Also, Titanium Backup's gonna want you to uncheck this box, so go ahead and uncheck that. And then you'll need to power the phone off. Since there's no reboot option in Android 5.0, and then turn it back on. So yeah, that was that. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my second channel, please subscribe. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. All links in the description below. This is what would Josh do, and I'm out.